Were you around tonight, second, by the way? Did you want to play some golf? We were getting a golf golf with your friends crew together. I can't remember if I asked you. Alright. Uh, continue. Alright, so the last thing we did was we beat a boss, and then off stream I wandered back to the central tower. And uh yeah. I think I upgraded my weapon a couple times. So we should be maxed out on damage with this bat. I was planning on streaming, but I might try to stream earlier so I can join you guys. Okay. No worries if you can't second, but you are, of course, welcome. Uh, Alright, let's see. So yeah, we upgraded this lamp post. We didn't talk to... The, I don't think he has anything important to say. Is this guy gonna be the final boss? I wonder. Make sure your game's the latest the version. I'm so mad. The memories of the frantic past. The true nectar I think the reason Halo not updating hit me so bad was because they had an update on the 14th. And when I just launched the game from the desktop, it updated. So I was like, okay, it's set to do automatic updates. And then they rolled out another update where you had to do it manually. And I was like, okay. <laughs> cool. Tarnished seal. Uh, the old prisoners infused your seal with some of the true nectar. When empowered, your apost will bend time. What does that even mean? <clears throat> I think I like the sound of that. And then yeah, we never found... So we have the mace upgraded all the way. Uh, we never found forbidden offering or tools, but... I don't think we need them. Oh, let's see. This Okay, this game gets really mad when I alt-tab, but if you guys want to understand why I get so lost in this area, let me see if I can show you. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Real quick, real quick, real quick. This is what the fucking map looks like. Just the area around the tower, like... This explains why I was getting lost. If I'd be like, okay, I'll just like hold, like follow the left hand wall and it'll be fine. Like this, this is awful. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go out the door, take a right, go straight, hang sort of leftish and then sort of rightish, take a tunnel and then take another right and then a left. And I already forgot. <laughs> Chief, thank you for the lurk. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Alright, wait. Hang on. So, take a right out of here. I also did some quick googling, and I'm an idiot, and these tokens, these like mortal tokens that I didn't know what they did, they actually heal you when you're hardening. So the game has a method of healing, I just didn't use it. Accidental challenge run, oh well. <laughs> I think the skewer game mode was your favorite, yeah. I, I'm not good at it, but it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> It's just a really fun, like, oh shit moment. <laughs> when you both miss and you're just, like, jumping around. Like, help. I think I'm going the right way. But yeah, so, uh... We're hoping to wrap this game up today, and then we're gonna move on to, um... 
We're going to continue Outer Wilds. I've been having a ton of fun with that game. Uh -huh. And it's janky, beautiful flight controls. And then after that, we're going to be doing golf. But I will probably... I'll probably do what I normally do, which is raid out around like 4 or 5. So I can eat some food. <clears throat> I'm getting tilted on the rocket game mode because you kept spawning and blowing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I kind of like that... Um, Alright, so in the older Halo games, they had restrictions on like how many players could be on a specific map. And they are there are none of those restrictions and customs. They don't even have recommendations, but they have big and small maps. And the only thing they have is a lobby size limit. So if you want to play on the smallest map with 24 players, you can. You'll just all spawn next to each other. And like, yeah, it's frustrating to get spawn killed, but it's also fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's part of the reason why I set the respawn to be instantaneous. So it's like, you know. If you actually had to sit through a respawn death after getting spawn camped, it would be miserable. <laughs> Alright, I am no longer confident I have any idea where I'm going. But I'm definitely going somewhere. Hundred million a second for the cookies? Holy shit. <laughs> Grizz, you're a cookie clicking machine. An absolute giga chad. Alright. Hang on. Oh, I should have that. I should not have that open. Uh, did I close the map? Okay. Okay. Alright, chat. Let's put our detective's hats on. I think. We left here, we took a right, and then I think we ended up over here. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, shit, I might have gone the, did I go the wrong way? This is the bat tree, but I thought we ended up there. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're somewhere in here. We might be with Harris, and we might be with Teal. Um, let's see. But regardless, if we right wall strat, if we're at teal, we'll get there eventually. Imagine using a map, yeah. I, uh, I already found this place once a second, so I don't feel, tr feel bad trying to f use a map to find it. Oh no, but now I'm turned around, fuck. Is it? Yeah. So I'll take a left. Yeah, we found the ice boss, like, died to him a bunch of times, and then I was like, I'll come back here later, and then I couldn't find it again. So I was like, I am... <laughs> as exciting content as running around in a poison swamp would be... for hours. I don't think anyone wants to watch that. <laughs> Alright. Are we headed in the right direction? This looks like a cemetery, so I think so. Yeah, just go. The, just get there the way you did the first time. The problem was I was lost the first time, and that's how I got there. Wait a minute. No, what? What is going on? Okay, this is the cemetery, so worst case, we'll come back there. Is it in here? This is why I'm glad Elden Ring's gonna have a map, right? <laughs> Even uh, Outer Wilds had a map. I was not using that one enough. I should have been using that more. I'm literally using a map and I'm getting lost. Okay, hang on. I cannot believe that hit that dude. Just like Lord Sauron. Alright. Nobody attack me for a second. So I'm at this stupid burning tree. Did 
Flaming Cross. Oh, I went the total wrong way. How did I end up over... Nani. Maybe there's multiple cemeteries. If this is the Flaming Cross, I need to turn around and go in the complete opposite direction. Does that look like a Flaming Cross to you? Me, me, weeb. I'm not a weeb. I'm kind of a weeb. I'm a, I'm a reformed weeb. No, this doesn't even look right. I don't fucking know. I'm a lost weeb. Welcome in, Marcus. <laughs> uh, we're playing Lost Souls. That might actually be the name of a video game. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm weeb adjacent. I'm a recovering weeb. That's the bat tree. Oh, that's the bat tree, not the cemetery. So there's a cemetery somewhere, too. Hmm. Ouch. So. Bruh. I'm literally using a map and I can't find my way around this place. So I'm at the bat tree. I mean, I guess. Alright, so one of the three pathways from the tree, if I keep running straight, we'll get there. One path. Two. Uh. Fuck. Hey, Harley J. Welcome on in. How was your Mario uh, speed runs? Doing good. We're uh, we are horrifically lost currently. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm literally using a map, <laughs> and I can't find where I'm going. <laughs> Like, it's pretty bad. I think we might be in business. Maybe. Let's see. Is it going straight through here where we want to be? Uh, maybe? Please? This might be it. You abandoned them for alien isolation? Ooh. Very nice. I do love me some alien isolation. Have you beat it before, Harley? That is one of my favorite horror games. I think the two spookiest horror games I've ever played are Alien Isolation and the uh, the Outlast games. I think I'm going in the right direction now. Yes. I think we're good. <laughs> Did 100% casual playthrough and it made me realize I hate the game. Oh, no. <laughs> Alien Isolation. Yeah, it's great so far, yeah. It starts off a bit slow, but it really, really, like, the story picks up, like, crazy once you get into it. Do I count Dead Space as a horror game? Yeah, I'd count it as a horror game. That's another really, really good one. I mean, like, on a scare factor, I'd probably, like, Dead Space is definitely scary. Like, it'd be a 9 out of 10 for me, but I don't know. I got the heebie-jeebies more from Alien Isolation than Dead Space. Mostly because, well, I, I don't know. I think the weapons you have in Dead Space are better, so it's less scary. Dead Space 2 would probably be the scariest game I've ever played. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm less scared if I'm running around with a machine gun. Just regardless of how spooky the monsters are. That's why Outlast gets me so bad, because you're just... Like, an investigative journalist with a camera. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nope. Nope, you keep that to yourself. Nope, that's that's your head. I'll play soccer with this thing. Boop. Can I... Do you think I could bring the head all the way, like... To where I'm going? I'm channeling my inner uh, Christian Ronaldo. 
Oh, this is such a drag. Sorry, C-3PO. Oh! Alright, we may have to abandon our, uh... Our head-kicking game here. Oh. Nothing scarier than getting hurt from sprinting? Yeah. That is a mechanic I'm glad most horror games other than Clock Tower uh, do not employ. <laughs> Alright. We got two bosses left to beat, Chad. We got two bosses left. One of them I found before and it kicked my ass. But we're coming back with a better hammer this time. Uh, I loved that last. If you'd like to try the first Amnesia, I've played the first Amnesia, and I, that is another game I really, really enjoy. I've played. Let me think. Yes. I think I've played all the Amnesias. Uh, I've played the the original. I've played a Machine for Pigs. I've played Rebirth. Are there three or four of them? Can't remember. Just finished hard mode. Very nice. Yeah, I think I just played them on normal when I played them. All right, so we're going to talk to her so we rest. So if we die, we come back there. I think... Isn't there a shortcut over here? I think there is. Uh, no, there isn't. There's... Hmm. One of the, like, ten paths over here is a shortcut, but... You only ever do the hardest difficulty on a first playthrough? Man, you are a braver person than I am. <laughs> I usually... I don't know. It depends on the game. I usually go for normal. Um, I know when I played Doom Eternal, I did Ultra Violent. Okay, here we go. Ow, that dude literally stabbed me in the brain! Ow! You have, wait, you have voice controls? <laughs> like, you talking moves the character? That's amazing. He can hear you? Oh, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. That's really cool. <laughs> we gotta be very quiet. The alien can hear us. <laughs> you usually try hard mode over normal, then regret it? Yeah. I think I had a bad experience with, um, one of the Crisis games. I was me and a buddy and we put it on the hardest difficulty for like the lulls and we never finished it. Like there was just one level that was like ridiculously difficult. And I was like, well, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> get, play a game and get stuck and never finish it because it was too hard. But I mean, the real answer is just get good, but you know. Sometimes it do be like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. 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 Ice cold? Uh, not moving the character, they can just hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can hear the sound alerts? <laughs> it's like, uh, so-and-so, thank you for the resub, and it's just like... This sounds like somebody's eating a bowl of spaghetti aggressively as the alien just, like, delimbs you. <laughs> That's amazing, though. That's hilarious. <laughs> I really should equip mushrooms on my taskbar so I can heal. <laughs> yes, that. That noise exactly, Noggle bit it. <laughs> oh! The chat figured it out too quickly. Oh, no. Yeah, chat be sneaky. They will ruin your life for sure. Okay, we made it back. Yeah, I do, um, every once in a while, Harley, I do something called crowd control. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's like, uh... Uh, you, you can basically set it up so that, like, chat can mess with you while you're playing a game. Like, they can trigger random effects in a game. So, like, I don't know, like, I did it for Dark Souls 3. Like, they can set your health to be 1. They can make you run really fast. They can randomize your weapons. Uh, they can invert the screen, so like tons of stuff like that. Um, but they probably have like 30 or 40 supported games. Um, it's for anything, I think. Um, it's, uh, 
If you if you Google crowd control, it should be some useful guides there. But it's basically like a there's a, you have a Twitch extension that you get that you enable, um, and then you also download the plugin. And if they're both running at the same time, um, chat can can mess with you with stuff like that. It's a uh, I set I usually so like that you they have an on screen extension that they can click on to like get coins and like anybody that's there gets. 50 free coins like any viewer so i usually just set the like values and prices to everything to be like super super cheap just because i want people to mess with me like as much as possible okay thank thank you for posting the link novel i think it's only for pc i think i believe don't quote me on that um i'm actually i don't know i actually don't know the i've, I've only ever done it on pc at least uh, you watched the VOD from the beginning of your stream yesterday and was dying at how chat was just reaming you with channel redemptions. I, yeah, I got destroyed. <laughs> oh, oh, damn, it is PC only? That sucks. Lame. <clears throat> but yeah, Be Good Johnny came in and was like, how about you do 20 push-ups for every hype train? And then I was like... Okay, sure. And then chat broke me very quickly. <laughs> I think I, I must have done like a hundred push-ups in the span of like ten minutes. And then I was like, help, my arms are jello. Please stop. <laughs> I am weak. <laughs> Your laptop is potato? Dang. Well, like, I don't know. You might still be able to get it work because they have like, they have it supported for older games too. Like, I want to say they have, like, Super Mario 3 and stuff like that. So, like, it might... There might still be certain games where you can run it. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Boss fight time. I don't even remember how to play this game. Oh. Yep. That was a great parry. You know, let's see how these things work. Need sleep, because you're up in seven hours, but having a mainstream. All right, thank you so much for hanging out, Harley. I do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. I was glad I could catch your Mario stream. It's definitely been too long since I came by and said, said hi, for sure. But I'll catch you later. Maybe I'll catch some more, uh, Alien Isolation. All right, let's try... Oh, like, we, we can't parry that? Oh, my God. Did I eat one of these tokens? Oh, I think... Did I already... Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Um, that almost hit me. Okay, so let's see. Did we heal off of that? I think we did. I mean, my damage is disgusting now. That's exciting. Thought yourself that's why you clicked the notification bell. Oh, thank you, Harley. <laughs> thank you for the hearts. Have a good rest. Ugh. I hate this... Attack! Oh, don't touch me! Please don't touch me. Baby, don't hurt me. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh. Hi! Oof. Right, right. Okay, this is also only phase one, Chad. Okay. Let's eat some mushrooms. Oh, jeez. Okay. Eating mushrooms takes about an hour. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm not sure if I took damage off of that, off of parrying that or not, but I definitely didn't get the parry. Whatever. Give me phase two, buddy. Just gonna eat some portobello mushrooms real quick. Through my helmet.
Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna give me an opportunity to heal, honestly. I don't forgot what this is. Oh, this is the, yeah. This is the run for your life attack. Well, I guess we can eat some portobello mushrooms now. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. All right, buddy. How many phases? He either has two or three. I forgot if he has more than, more than two. Our damage is way better, because we went in with a plus two weapon, and now it's plus five. Would you like to hit me, sir? He is not, he is not interested. <laughs> Oh, right, that only protects from one hit. Oh, we got him to halvesies, at least. If you don't move, he can't see you, right? <laughs> I don't know if that works. Woo. Boy. Got a lurk while I shower and go run some rounds. Alright, thanks for the lurk, second. Oh, this is the no, 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 no! Oh, I hit the wall. Oh, you sneaky bastard! Okay, he actually trapped me against an invisible wall. That, that's unfortunate. Hey, buddy. We're friends, right? Does he have another phase? Nope. We got a checkpoint, Badonk. Yo, can I teabag him? <laughs> Idiot. Oh. He dropped a goodie. <laughs> Badoop. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, what is that? Oh, it was the little dude that was sitting up there in the tower. He fell out. Hello, Mr. Little Dude Wrapped in a Trash Bag. How's it going? <laughs> Does this give you the Buster Sword? God, I hope so. That notification sound is so helpful for multi-phase boss fights. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, extract this dude's glands. Didn't think the glands would be up there. Okay. It must be a ball chinian. Shout outs to Men in Black. Alright, good. My night light is working. A sacred gland. Truly. Now for the awkward run back, right? <laughs> oh, what are the odds I can find Each my way back to the tower? It's like I got lost in the swamp before. Now it's going to be nighttime. And like a million enemies everywhere. I'm afraid I'm no longer fit for such work. The rite of extraction requires deeply pious hands. Though perhaps deeply blasphemous hands would do. Alright. Does suck you don't get souls from killing the boss. Oh, is the ceiling collapsing? Oh, well. Well, I guess it's time to get out of here, huh? It's about that time. Slaps knees. Did 
They're trying to bring down the mountain. Alright, you know, I was watching for falling stalactites, didn't look, didn't check for people. Look, that is, that is my neck, that is my neck, and you can't have it. Oh, it's not my neck, but I still want it. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of these fuckers. Holy shit. You aren't fucking kidding me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, my method of running past all the enemies is, a. Uh... This could be a problem. Please let me heal. Oh my god, there's enemies everywhere. Okay. <laughs> my neck. <laughs> my back. My armor's really black. I like that he has an F, like, emblazoned in the helmet. Well, you know. Alright. Alright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know, guys. This is, uh... Uh, this is becoming an issue. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we're getting out of here. Oh, please, 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 please. There's so many enemies. Oh, no, no, no. Baby, don't hurt me. I went the wrong way! No! Wait. Huh? Wait. This is definitely the wrong way, but... Where does this even go? It's definitely up this bridge. Oh. Ah, no, we can't go in there. Nope. Not in there. Oh, is it this way? Uh. Uh. Get back in the body! Oh! Get back in the body! Oh, dear, 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 dear. Do we talk to her or do we just skedaddle? Alright, let's try talking to her. Oh, we made it out. Wow. I could see that being a unbelievable pain in the neck if you actually try killing all those enemies. That was not a pun, or I did not intend for that to be a pun, but it kind of came out as a pun. Martyr Shawl. Maybe I should, like, find out what these items do. <laughs> At some point. Oh, Jesus. What? What? I don't have control of my character! Help! Oh, okay. <laughs> we got it back. Uh, we got it back, but my weapon's invisible and my camera's desynced. Help! <laughs> Where did my axe go? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, do I- does my- is my weapon real? Okay, it is there, it's just invisible. Oh boy. Yeah, see, I was thinking we could not fight the Grisha. Hear me out. I have... I have quite the fan group. Oh, the camera is not helping! Oh my god. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I don't know about this chat. Oh god! No! 
I am straight up not having a good time right now. Alright, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. You guys don't eat me. Hmm? Think, think of the, the upside of not eating me. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh. Make it to the door! No! Okay, we made it in. We're not free, though. Oh, talk to the lady! Okay. Whew. Yeah, my weapon's still invisible, though. It's funny that it... Hmm. Does switching weapons fix it? No, no it does not. Well, alright. Who would have thought one so naive could endure such hardship to deliver this final plan? Yet, it is I who will ascend. And not those who are worshipped. Hand it over and claim the honor to witness what's true. Pull the gland away from the prisoner? Or give it to him? No, we'll give it to him. Thank you. Ah, they hit me with a 50 50 mix up. I wonder if that's the right choice or if it doesn't matter. Like, does he just hate me anyways? False idol. Fed the scraps of hope until your senses dulled and softened. Yeah, maybe he was chained up for a reason. I've left you desperate. Hungering for more. I shall give you a chance at redemption. To know the truth. If even for just a fleeting instant. As you bask in my grandeur, come forth and bear witness to my ascension. Can you ascend from not being stuck in a wall anymore? I must spread my wings. I'm assuming they're gonna teleport me into a boss arena. Or I have to go find him? Okay. <laughs> Enter the hole. Um, is there any last minute shopping I wanted to get done? I don't think so. I don't, so, I don't mind the fact that my weapon's invisible, but I do mind that the camera is physically lower <laughs> on my character. Oh, you didn't see, Daz? Um, I got command grabbed by one of those, like, um, neck biter dudes. And I got frozen in place and stunned. Like, basically, like, not, he wasn't T-posing, but he was just doing, like, the default character model, like, chilling animation. And I, like, couldn't move my character. And then I got grabbed again, and I got thrown out of it. But my weapon disappeared, and my camera is now physically lower than it was before. So, uh... It's a bug, but... Like, my mace is still there. I can still deal damage to stuff. I forgot where the merchant was. He's, like, up high somewhere. Oh, there he is. Wait, how do I get up there? Hey, buddy. Uh... Wait, can I not get up there? Yeah. Hmm. Did they break the staircase? I'm over it. Yeehaw. Maybe the loading screen will fix it. I don't know.
Uh, that's a big, big mandible. We haven't fought a boss that's like gigantic like this. I can see the door in the background. Oh, he's like the fish. Oh. He's a fish person that can also fly. Hey, my mace is back. <laughs> the Unchained. He is difficult to hit. May have been the first flying animation in history. <laughs> no. He has a lot of fucking health. I'll give him that. No. I'm kind of not looking at the screen currently. Get a little bit of health back. I really hope he only has one health bar. Um, do the waves hurt me? Oh, they do. Oh, oh my. I want to parry this dude really badly. <laughs> Don't do this bullshit. Oh, he has summons people? Oh no, there's ads. That sucks. Okay, you do one shot them at least. Okay, so I guess we try to roll for the first one. Oh, the water doesn't just send you flying. Weird. Oops. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Oh, he's got a tail whip. Orc, thank you for the lurk. Hope everything's porking well. Hope porking equals yes. Okay. Oh, you do get caught up in it, sort of. Uh, Alright, you have to roll through it, but the timing's pretty weird.
Oof, okay. I tried parrying there. It's weird. I feel like if your parry timing is, like, close enough, you don't parry him, but you don't take damage from him. Uh-oh, what was that? Okay. I don't know where he is. Alright, hear me out. You chill, you calm down for like three seconds, dude. Is that half health? We got this bullshit again. Oh! Oh, he's got a blunder attack. tried is uh, pairing these dudes. No, I pressed the... Mm -hmm. yeah. I got the parry off and I pressed the tack. He didn't, he didn't want to do it though. I wonder if... <laughs> I might have been locked onto the wrong guy. Maybe I parried the second dude, but I was locked onto the other one so it didn't let me do it. Hard to tell. Do they come in They don't come in definitely, but I think he sends like, I think he sends probably like six or seven dudes. But I think if you don't kill them, they they hang around for forever. I am gonna I am gonna keep pressing that parry button until I get a parry off. <laughs> One of these attacks, surely I will be able to parry. Eventually. Yeah, he does a pump fake with that attack. No? Okay. I'm literally just gonna stand here until I learn how to parry him. Or at least I know that it's possible. I pressed it again. Pressed it again. I think I'm too late. Pressed it there. Pressed it there. Maybe you can't parry him. Be weird if you can't, though. My shell is dead in, like, the parrying animation. <laughs> it's just, like, holding it out in front of him. <laughs> uh, alright. I guess... I guess you can't bury him. Or at least I can't. Alright, 
I'll stop trying then. Just treat this like an old school Dark Souls fight. has enough health. I tried rolling that so hard. Oh. Ah, damn. I guess if I let them bunch up, I could get them all at once, too. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. Sorry I'm an hour late. I was having technical difficulties. Kept saying I didn't have the same version of Twitch as everyone else. God damn it, Tuka. <laughs> hey, Bimo. Can I please get a shout out for Bimo? If you guys don't know her, she's an awesome streamer. I think she's still. Oh, God. Pushing for partner. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Baby, don't hurt me. Also, Tuka, I just want you to know that I hate you. But. Um, I have a new emote. I have a new animated emote specifically for you. My my five dollar long juice animated emote. <laughs> uh, I have it on Game Pass, Bimo. It might also. I think it is. A lot of people are saying it's, it's also on PlayStation Plus, though. But yeah, if you like uh, Dark Souls games, you definitely enjoy it. It's kind of like a updated, prettier version of Dark Souls. It was a bit short, though. Gotcha. Yo, Gaming Adventure, welcome on in. <laughs> I think my favorite of the animated emotes so far is the uh, the Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> okay. Alright, you have to be early rolling through these waves or you get hecked up. We are also using the character with the least amount of health. Yeah, it was a very nice surprise, though, because Twitch had been... They'd been saying for a while that affiliates were going to get animated emotes. Uh, and they just... I think... I don't know if everybody has them yet, but they've started rolling them out, like, in mass. I now have more em I have... I... <laughs> I have so many more emote slots than I know what to do with, it's hilarious. Like, at the start of this year, I was like, oh man, I sure hope I can- I sure hope if enough people subscribe, I'll, I'll be able to get four emote slots. And now it's like, oh, <laughs> I have like 18. <laughs> uh, you sh yeah, you should be able to see how many, uh, <laughs> how many of your Mario Kart characters fall off. Rainbow Road. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. I should probably be focusing on the boss fight and not reading chat, but you're not my boss, so, uh, you can't make me. Oh, the, uh, the Buzz Lightyear profile pic? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, I was wondering if there was a story behind that. <laughs> um, does the waves kill these dudes? It does not. Oh boy. Oh, triple dipple. Oh, I have. Mm, okay. I have the wrong parry stuff equipped. Shit. 
I don't know how to change that actually, but I I wanna I wanna have it switched back so that I heal when I parry. Did that guy just explode into a pile of meat? I mean I'm about it, but just extra hype for the Buzz Lightyear movie. Hey, there you go. Alright, the boss is at half health. And I am significantly below half health. roll through this one. Yeah. Uh. Ow, 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 ow. What is he doing? Oh, no. Oh, did, no! I bet I... I think I broke his poise or something. Like, I finally did enough damage that I stunned him. got a spin to win attack. Look at that. Oh. Alright, we'll eat a mushroom real quick. Oh, no, 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 Riptide! Ah! I don't want to go down the drain hole. I don't want to go down the sink. No, thank you. It looks so inviting, though. Not usually into uh, FPS games, but Halo is surprisingly fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've, uh, we've been doing, like, community customs game nights, and it's been really, really fun. But yeah, I, I hadn't played Halo, like, multiplayer since, like, high school, but... Since Infinite's free? Free is a really nice price point. Is he healing while eating these dudes? He is, you son of a bitch. No! I didn't know. Get out of here. I need to kill your chicken nuggets. Alright, what if I hop in? I think, I don't know if I'm gonna have a choice in the matter, but uh... What if I give, hang, hang on, hang on, I have an idea. What if I give him a hardened chicken nugget? Oh no, I think he killed me. That kills you? Oh my god. Rip. <laughs> Free is best. Gotta focus on work, so I'll be lurking. Alright, thanks Lurk Duka. <laughs> huh. All right, we got to think about that. Um. Huh. If I get too close to the Riptide, you fall in and die. But it didn't seem like you could wait it out. Like, I think I have to kill all of the phantoms, and then maybe he'll pop back out of the hole. But he was just, like, very slowly healing. You're lurking as well, gonna try to get some Christmas stuff done. Alright, thanks so much for hang uh, swinging by, Bimo. It's always good to see you. Good luck with the Christmas stuff. I will attempt to, uh, beat this dude into a pulp. <laughs> with mixed results. You realize it was the holidays way too late. Yeah, I, I am, I don't know. I need to get my Christmas shopping done like way ahead of time. So I always do it super early. Just like the thought of going out and doing Christmas shopping like the week of Christmas gives me anxiety. <laughs> I got my dad some beef jerky, and I got my mom some chocolate fudge. And, uh, that's, that's my Christmas shopping. Good luck with this unfair boss, thank you. I'll need it. <laughs> I will definitely need it. <laughs> oh, come here, you. Ow. Oh, I thought that was a grab for a second. I was, I was, I was scared. You have a pact with your sister to not get gifts? You know, that's actually hilarious, because my sister also said the same thing. <laughs> she was like, can we just not get ourselves presents this year? I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. But I always, I always get something from my parents. Oh. 
Pro Row. Come here, you. Why did I dodge that? I really wish he damaged these dudes. Nani? Nani? Oh, dude, they got like. <laughs> dude, look at the random feet just hanging out of the water. <laughs> oh, and they're gone. I stunned him. Too bad my stamina is like all the way down. Okay, well we got two hits off on him for breaking his poise. I don't know. The actual mechanics of this fight from like a Dark Souls perspective are not like too challenging. Like, I under I'm learning the timings of most of this stuff. It's just the extra bullshit stuff I gotta work on. Like, I know most of his swings. But I don't know what to do with the, uh... Toilet drain attack yet. Uh, not gonna I do that too much to work to get other present yeah yeah for sure it's mo I don't know for it's it's mostly for the kids anyways you know I still have, like, the occasional aunt or uncle that'll send, like, send me Christmas money, and it's like, thank you, but, like, you don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm almost 30, it's fine. <laughs> oh! Oh, what's happening? Are we entering the drain? Not yet. the toilet bowl as a response to me like taking too long to kill him yo what's good percy what's happening buddy i should probably oh and kitty what the oh my fucking god the kitty burrito thing for the rate of 37 jesus christ welcome on in everybody we're uh <laughs> We're playing Mortal Shell. We're actually fighting the final boss. Oh, Trace card, thank you for follow. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, thank you so much for the raid, Kitty. Can I please get a shout out for the Kitty Burrito? Oh, it's playing Sekiro. Nice. Alright, so this is the final boss of Mortal Shell, everybody. And, um... He has an attack where he turns himself into a literal toilet bowl. And I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Northwest Fat Boy, welcome on in. Holy shit, all the all the homies. Alright, what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. But we're gonna keep hitting him. Murder Donut? Also welcome on in. Oh my god. All the homies. Alright, we're gonna eat some portobello mushrooms real quick. I think he's turning into a toilet bowl. <laughs> the gang's all here. Taquita banana! How the heck are you, banana? Not take the banana. I actually learned how to say your name. Um. Wait. <laughs> wait, where's, where's the boss? Did he just leave? I guess he's on a... Well, if, well, he's on a coffee break. Can I just, like, go over here? Oh! There's an invisible wall that pushes me away from the door. Just let me leave. I think this is... Okay, he's turning into a toilet bowl. Got it. Well, let's see if I can kill all these dudes. <laughs> he just rage quits, yeah. 
Um, so here's the problem, Chad. Oh my god. I do not want to get hit by that. If I get too close, he eats me. But he gets health off of all of those dudes. Uh, I guess that wasn't... Hmm. I guess that wasn't too much health. I'd say it's enough of health to be annoying. But he actually... It's weird. Some of his attacks, uh... You tilt it as Sekiro stream issues and generally annoying? Oh, no. Are you still fighting the, um... The Demon of Rage kitty? Or did you beat his butt? But yeah, this boss has some, like, Bloodborne... Attacks that remind me of Bloodborne bosses. Like, the flying into the ceiling and, like, ground pounding reminds me of Ludwig. I don't know any... Okay. He's got some really weird attacks. He has a hungry hole. Yes. If you're too close to the hole, it consumes you. Yes. Oh, you beat him, kitty? Nice. So the final, final boss. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. The dude that has, like, a 50-foot lightning sword and is total horseshit. If this guy turns into a toilet bowl again, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh. Is this boss difficult? Um... He has a comical amount of health. Oh, that's a new attack. Ow. And I have not learned all of his movesets yet, but... I would say most of the difficulty is not in the mechanics of dodging his attacks. It's in... Um, just how ridiculously massive his health is. And that he can kind of wombo combo you with some stuff. Like those waves. He can also attack you while doing it. Oh, no, no. Oh, I had stunned him and I didn't even realize it. Wait, did I stun him? Oh, I stunned him again. Yo, let's go. Can I tee off on this dude? Alright, I need to eat some portobello mushrooms again, I think. Alright, we also need to make sure that we clear these guys out, because he heals off of them. Oh! Oh, God. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Alright, roll through that. Yep. And we're gonna roll through the next one. Yep. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a flying toilet bowl. Dude, he loves to spin to win. Is he gonna roll up on me? No, he isn't. Uh, I don't know, I still don't know what that attack is. But yeah, just the sheer amount of health that he has is shocking, I think. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby. Did I? Oh, I think I... Oh, I stunned him again. Oh, I stunned him again! Come on, baby. Hit him! Oh my god, just hit him. Just hit him! No! What? Oh, camera? I thought I fell through the floor. No, 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 no. It's not happening like this. Come here, buddy. Come to Papa. Let's fucking go! Oh. Roto 137, welcome on in. <laughs> T-spin PTSD. Oh, my God. Oh, I am about to witness you getting turned into mashed potatoes, dude. Oh, I think that's the game, Donut, yeah. Thank you for the GG's. You did a cane playthrough not knowing it was apparently a terrible weapon. That was my first weapon in Bloodborne 2, Percy. Uh, we're gonna extract this dude's glands. Uh, upon extracting your dad's glands, you're given a choice. Ascend ends the mortal realm and you'll begin again. If you don't ascend, 
save your you will save your uh your save data. Uh sure, let's ascend. All oh, that free gameplay gone. Yeah, so if you guys like Dark Souls, you will definitely like this game. Um It was a bit shorter than I expected. I think there's only like six or seven bosses, but it is a really, really cool game. Puts that moisturizing cream on his face. Stretches his shoulder. <laughs> Rips his clothes off. Yeah, it is a it is a pretty it is a relatively short game, but there are a lot of the environments I think are really, really cool. And they put a lot of work into the boss fights. Um, and we rocket off to the moon. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Didn't only like 15 people make this game? I think I had heard that. Um, Psychic, what is happening? I have literally no idea. But we beat the game. It's a... Uh... It's kind of that, like, Dark Souls thing where the story makes literally no sense and they don't bother explaining anything to you. Uh, but yeah, I thought... Well, no, okay. It's not 15 people, it doesn't look like. This looks like a lot more than 15 people. I, I forgot... We were talking the other day about games that have been made by, like, a very small design team. I forget. I know Salt and Sanctuary, I think, was literally made by two people. Fifteen? Are you mean? Do you just mean like developers? Cause like I'm looking at a list of like 150 people. <laughs> maybe maybe he means there's only 15 developers. Yeah, more like 50. <laughs> Impervious loot. It's one hell of a name. All right. Um. So the plan was, gang, uh, that once we beat Mortal Shell, I was gonna move over and start. Continue my playthrough of Outer Wilds. Uh, I don't know if anybody's ever played that, but that was a channel point redemption from a friend of mine, Rayleigh's. Is that it? Is that the whole credits? Is that everything? But yeah, really, really cool game. Um, I'd probably give it an 8 out of a 10. 8 out of 10. I have dock it points for being short. So if you can get it for free or really, really cheap, I would, I would recommend it. Really fun concept, but yeah. I hope that they make a Mortal Shell 2 and they make it twice as long. <laughs>